Hey everybody, Mike Check the Comics and I'm back. This time I went to a flea market over the weekend, ended up hanging out with my buddy Rayman, picked up a few things here, and I got an A-OK -okay from him. If you want to see what books I got, stay tuned for that intro. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, ended up going to a flea market. This was on Sunday. You're probably seeing this probably now on Friday. And um, ended up going to a flea market. Went to a flea market in Grafton, Massachusetts. Hadn't been there since, I want to say it was probably September. So it's been a while. Um, they usually end up opening... I think I want to say in April again uh, they closed for the for the winter but um, ended up going on the weekend uh, real early on Sunday and um, met up with Ray Rayman and we did a little bit of hunting wasn't there too long it was there for maybe an hour no more than an hour and a half because it was on Mother's Day so um, I had to do some quick hunting and then head out so I can prepare for the uh, Mother's Day uh, brunch so um, picked up a couple of things and then he sent me or he gave me in person this big A-OK. -okay. So um, I'll start off with the two things I ended up buying. Um, didn't pick up a lot of comics. There weren't a lot of comic, um, well, there weren't a lot of vendors that had comics there. So uh, I'll show you what I did get. Uh, first thing I got was I saw this and it really caught my eye. I didn't know what this was. Um, but I saw the name Starenko. So I was like, oh wow, uh, really cool. Opened it up. This is like treasury size. And it says, there you go. The Starenko History of Comics. And I didn't know what this was. I started opening this up, and there was a lot of really cool, you know, Golden Age covers. They started talking a lot about the history of it, a little bit about Sterenko, and um, you can see there's some pretty cool, really cool artwork there. That's Kirby. Just something I've never seen before in the wild. So I was like, I got to pick this up. Asked the guy what he wanted for it. He said five bucks. So I was like, I'm not even going to argue with that. I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> Uh, I looked this up online and I found out there was two. This is volume one. So I believe this is volume one. But there are two books for the uh, series. So um, he didn't have the two. It was just this one. So I thought that was pretty neat. Um, also walking around, there's a lot of vendors that do like um, action figures, Funkos, and a lot of sports cards. And I was walking around and I saw this and I was like, oh, cool. I had to pick this up. I hadn't bought a, a graded card. This is only my second graded card that I have in, in my collection. And uh, this is, if you can see that player there, it's Shaquille O'Neal. And uh, he's wearing that uh, LSU jersey. So this is a rookie card from 92. Uh, 92 Classic 4 Sport John Wooden Award Rookie. Graded at an 8.0, which is, in the card world, an 8.0 is near mint mint, which would be our equivalent of a 9.8. Um, obviously, in the card industry, a 10.0, you know, is a mint, you know, gem mint. But uh, they do the grading uh, a little differently in the sports card industry. But I um, thought that was pretty cool. I bought that for 20 bucks. I'm um, not really sure what they go for, but I, I thought that was pretty neat. You know, I think they cost like, I don't know how, many, how much it costs to grade cards. 10, 15 bucks maybe, if not more. I don't know, depending on the company. But um, to get a rookie card from Shaquille O'Neal, he's, you know, he's a legendary player. So uh, I thought that was pretty sweet, but I was obviously more excited to pick this up. So that was, that was really cool. All right. So that's all I got at the flea market. And then I was walking around, you know, like I said, hunting with Ray. And it was like, oh, I got something for you. I was like, I've been... Uh, Compiling some books for you from uh, 
you know, he said he had a big storage, books everywhere in the house. And um, I was like, I have uh, some duplicates that I have in the collection. I wanted you to have some of them. So I was like, oh, wow. So this is going to be uh, pretty sweet. So um, he he gave me, uh, these feels like there's a decent amount of books here in the, in the uh, Gemini. And then a package full of them in here. So I'll start with the big package first. And then go from there. And uh, he was saying that, uh, don't know if you have some of these, but uh, I'm sure one of these you're going to really like. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and uh, I like all my AOKs that I get. Because you know, just, the, just the thought of sending me something is, is amazing. You know, so uh, that's how great this community is. And uh, no lie, this thing is packed. This thing is packed with books, not even including the uh, the Gemini. So uh, get ready, guys. All right, so let's get ready for this uh, big stack. So let's see. All right, first book, DC Comics Presents, issue number five. Look at that, from 1979. I like it. He, uh, he labels it in the back, too. That's awesome. I like that. All right, what we got? DC Comics Presents, issue number 53. All right, what we got here? Oh, this is cool. I like this. This is the, um, what do you call that? The, the homage to, oh, man, why am I drawing a blank right now? The homage to Die Hard. Holy shit, wow. Brain fog there. Yeah, this is uh, Spectacular Spider-Man issue number 112. I love the uh, Christmas covers, especially that cool-looking Santa Claus. Like I said, Die Hard cover, new stand edition. Don't know why I was drawing a blank there. <laughs> well, that's awesome. I like that. All right, what we got next? Spectacular Spider-Man, Craven, the hero, issue number 251. Oh, there's an early one. Web of Spider-Man, issue number 12. All right. Next up, Web of Spider-Man, issue number 43. Ooh. Start a pile over here. There we go. Oh, cool. Green Hornet. I don't believe I have any Green Hornet books. This will be the first one. Green Hornet, issue number one. This is from Dynamite. Very cool. Free comic book day. Oh, this will be my, I think, second or third Excalibur book. This is Excalibur, issue number 16. Pretty cool. Okay. Oh. Iron Man. This is uh, Iron Man issue number 210. All right. oh, we got our What If. What If Fantastic Four, uh, Fantastic Four's second child had lived. Number 30. Interesting. Oh, very cool. I like that. Next up, oh, we got some more what ifs. What if Daredevil killed the Kingpin? Issue number two. All right, what if he did, huh? <laughs> All right, what we got? Oh, here we go. Back to some uh, DC Comics Presents. This is issue number 11, featuring Superman and Hawkman. Nice. This is a really cool series. I, I you know, haven't collected many of these previously but like from the uh, AOKs I've gotten from uh, Rayman even the previous one I did get a few of their of the uh, DC Comics presents so this is really neat to start a nice little run now this is uh, issue number 15 featuring uh, the Atom Superman and the Atom 
There you go. Oh, we got another one. DC Comics presents issue number 20, Superman and Green Arrow. Very cool. All right. What do we got next? X Factor Annual, issue number one. From 1986. All right. Oh, oh, we got our first uh, Turok. Here we go. Here we go. Terok, issue number 21. The Hunted Becomes the Hunter. <laughs> I think that's my first Terok book, funny enough. I don't have a Terok one, believe it or not. At least, at least not to my knowledge. I don't think so. Uh, here we go, some Valiant. Bloodshot, issue number three. Two Manhattan. I like Bloodshot. Uh, let's see. Uncanny X-Men issue number 18 from 1994. Getting some 90s goodness right now. All right. What do we got next? Uh, X-Men annual number 16. Very cool. We got here Uncanny X Men issue number three fifty seven. The Uncanny X Men is this uh, issue number one? I think so, right? Yep, it says number one on here on the back. It says all new X Men. Yep, special event. There you go. Ooh, big edition. Giant size, feel like. Oh, we got some Hulk. There we go. Sweet. Hulk, issue number 246. All right, it says, you beat the Mandroid, Hulk, but now you face Captain Marvel. Very cool. I love these uh, Hulk covers from the 100s and the 200s. Really cool. All right, what we got here? Incredible Hulk, issue number 285. Oh, and I saw the next the next issue already, and I like this because it has uh, one of my uh, favorite villains on there. It says Incredible Hulk issue number two eighty six, and then you can see Kang Kang there in the background. Very cool. Like I said all these all these books I, uh, I don't have, or if I do, it's like I may have a few here that are duplicates here and there, but a lot of these I don't have. Incredible Hulk issue number 251. Look at that. Whatever happened to the 3D man? Oh, we got another one here. Incredible Hulk issue number 363. All right. What we got next? Oh, Incredible Hulk issue number 280. go got some daredevil daredevil issue number 239 that's, that's pretty sweet i like that cover what we got next oh some justice league justice league of america issue number four. Oh, and from the same from the same run Justice League of America, issue number seven. Cool. Okay. Oh, here we go. Got some Spawn, some early Spawn. Spawn, issue number 18. Oh, I think this is the Violator. I'm not sure. Spawn, issue number 14. Very cool. And we got here. Justice League of America, issue number 29. Faces of Evil, Starbreaker. Here we go. The Fall of the Justice League, issue number 40. Oh, 
We've got some Fantastic Four. Issue number 366. <laughs> you can see Reed Richards there. Destroy. All right. Well, got some Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight, issue number 16. And we got some Namor. Look at that. Boom. And we got, oh, Silver Surfer. Nice. Silver Surfer, issue number 8. All right. Cool. That's a pretty cool cover. Let's take a look at that. It's like a dragon with an octopus on top. That's pretty cool. Here we got Silver Surfer, issue number 21. All right. Oh, going back to uh, Fantastic Four, issue number 267. Arms of the Octopus. All right, what do we got here? Fantastic Four, issue number 280. There we go, we got some Punisher. Punisher Warzone, issue number 10. Two down, five to go. Punisher War Zone issue number three. Getting towards the end of the stack. There's a lot of books in here. It's crazy. It's crazy. Avengers issue number 27. 100 page monster. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That looks like a fun read. All right, what do we got here? Avengers. Issue number 42, and this is uh, legacy number 457. All right. Avengers 41. That's pretty cool. I'm not familiar with that, that character there in the middle. Huh. We got issue number 39. There we go. We got a little. Looks like a little run there. Avengers number 34. And uh, we're down to the last two in the box. What if Iron Man lost the Armor Wars? Ooh. Could this be something playing into the uh, upcoming Armor Wars series? Who knows? This is uh, volume two from 1990. Very cool. And the last book. Oh, finish off with another what if. What if Steve Rogers had refused to give up being Captain America? I think I do have this one. This one I do believe I have. Cool book. I like that one. All right. So I'll pause this and I'll get the last stack. All right. So we're back for part two of uh, Rayman's Amazing A-OK. -okay. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be uh, dropping all of Rayman's information down in the description below. So you can subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel as well and his IG. Uh, so far, these books have been amazing. And uh, like I said, this is part two of it. Got some more stuff in here. Let's take a look what's in here. All right, so we got Halloween Comic Fest. Uh, Usagi Ujimbo. This is part of the um, it's a one shot. There we go. They gave these out during, uh, I think it was during Halloween or pretty close to it. Like a couple weeks prior, they would do um, like free comic book day giveaway as well. So uh, I remember these. Didn't get a chance to get this one though. Um, Let's see, the Pokemon Adventures. I actually just read the uh, Pokemon uh, Free Comic Book Day. It was uh, <laughs> pretty annoying. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Archie's Madhouse Magic. Cool. 
These are pretty cool because uh, some of these I'm just going to uh, read to my son. So he'll like these. Ah, oh, cool. All right. Free preview of... What's that called? Zozo Zombie. There we go. <laughs> All right. And, uh, oh, this is a little bit thicker one. The Secret Spiral of Swamp Kid. There we go. And on the back, what we got here? Meg Carrot Black Canary. All right. So maybe got a couple stories in this one. We got, uh, let's see, Halloween special for The Loud House. There we go. Uh, Halloween comic fest. Uh, Vamplets, The Undead Pet Society. <laughs> oh, that's great. And uh, Hollow Fields. These are all like stories I've never, never heard of, but uh, some of these may be uh, interesting to read. Oh, there we go. Big fan of R.L. Stein. Used to read a lot of the um, uh, Goosebumps when I was a kid. So this is cool. Just Beyond. Um, I think I remember this one here. I think I remember reading one of these. This is uh, Blastosaurus. And what else we got here? Of course, we got to have, we can't have a Halloween comic fest without a spook house and uh, when i'm recording this this is uh well when you'll be seeing this this will be on um friday the 13th so this will be pretty cool trick or treat uh let's see what else oh another free comic book day this is under the moon Boom. oh there you go there's a blastosaurus you got a duplicate and the last one of the comic fests are Nancy Drew. There you go. Cool. All right. So, and we got now the um, last stack of the books from this amazing AOK. -OK. All right. What do we got? Oh, nice. All right. All right. We're starting off with a nice book. Really nice book. This is Daredevil, A Man Without Fear, issue number nine. Look at that. And it's a newsstand. Is that a newsstand copy? I think that is. Wow. That's really cool. And it's a beautiful David Mack cover. All right. Next one up. Look at that. Spider Man Unlimited, issue number one. This uh, starts the. Maximum Carnage series, right? Yeah. From 1993. All right. Next up. Oh. <laughs> well, we were just talking about this book, too. That's hilarious. This is um, Thor, issue number 326. Um, this is the second Scarlet Scarab. And uh, this was from, uh, obviously, from the Moon Knight series. And uh, the last book is The Companion, Invaders number 23. First appearance of Scarlet Scarab. Look at that. Isn't that a... <laughs> How ironic is it that uh, the last two books of uh, the AOK -OK have to do with uh, Moon Knight? That's funny. Uh, thanks, Ray, man. That's... Uh, I don't even know what to say. This was uh, an amazing AOK. -OK. Such great books. Uh, can't wait to sort through them, start reading all the books. There's a lot of books. <laughs> and um, even like the little books, uh, my son's going to love some of these books too to read. Always me reading to him. So that's going to be really cool. Um, like I said, put all of his information, Rayman's, down in the description so you can uh, subscribe and follow his channel. And um, until next time, Box Back the Comics, out.